All right, gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit and run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site. The coroner's on his way. Get down there, see if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Parker or Green? I didn't come to California to be a secretary. Dull as dishwater, but I'm not with him for the conversation. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Looks like the DA is going to press charges. And Detectives, over here. Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? Dick is a white male, name of Lester Patterson. Walked out of the bar and into the street. Car hit over there and he ended up here. Dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar, name of Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. Is that so? We'll take a formal statement later. Right now, we're going to take a look around. Phelps, you should take a look at the body. The poor guy didn't stand a chance. Landed on his face and ended up here. The car must have struck him from behind. can notify next of kin. Addison has life insurance. What have you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. 
I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. What about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Those things are killers. Body traveled a good 20 feet. This blood is a long way from the body. The car must have been going like a bat out of hell. So the driver managed to brake before the impact. He's all yours, detective. Miss Perry? Yes? I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three C eight. Tell me more about the argument. Well, there were two voices, a man and a woman, that's all. Why are you holding out on us, Miss Perry? I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the neighbor, trying to find work as an actress and Things are pretty difficult. Cough it up, sister. We don't have all night. People arguing? They were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very embarrassing for the man. Thank you, Miss Perry. Your information has been very helpful. You can go now. You really think so? I hope you find that driver and put him away. You certainly got away with the dames, Phelps. <laughs> Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. I'll take the bartender. You work the rest of the room. Courtney, come in. Have a seat. Thanks, Doctor. How are you finding working at the clinic? It's, uh, fine. Are you sure? Can I be honest with you, Doctor? I would hope so, Courtney. I was hoping that the therapy would be more beneficial. Treatment can, unfortunately, be very long-term. So many of the patients here are addicts, Doctor. Many of them have been for years, Courtney. In the past, these people were condemned to sanatoriums. If we can reveal the root of the problem, then we have a chance to help them. And until then, they stay sedated? Do I detect a hint of reproach, Courtney? I was expecting more, Doctor. I'm sorry. I don't mean to criticize. Part of being a physician, Courtney, is learning to be patient. How is it possible to keep so many of them on their medications, Doctor? Many of their addictions are illegal. Oh, many things in life are gray, Courtney. 
What may on the surface appear to be illegal is actually a benefit to society at large. I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Your name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna, Mrs. Patterson, home. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. So what was he doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Mr. and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. Do you know the victim? Yeah, Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. Not one of your favorite customers? Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? What was it about? Who knows? The slightest thing could set those two off. Thanks for your help, Lynch. I'm going to need you to sign a statement with the patrolman. Sure, no problem. You get anything out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need to run a partial license plate, 3 Charles 8. Cross-check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, Detective. Only one possible make on that license. Registered to a William Shelton, 738 West Temple Street. Thank you. Looks like we caught a break on this one. You can drive. And where exactly are we going?
Yes? Hello? This is Patterson. Is this about my husband? We're investigating the incident, ma'am. I see. Come in, won't you? We wanted to give you the facts about the accident, ma'am. I appreciate that, but I think I know most of them already, Detective. He was hit by a car, now he's dead. What more is there to tell? Pardon me, but you don't appear to be too upset about it. Lester and I met on a furlough in 44. We got married that weekend. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. So you probably did well to stick together this long. What's that supposed to mean, mister? I think it's about time you left. I have someone here, and Beg I... Beg your pardon? You're gonna have to run that one by us again, sister. It's okay, Lorna. I'm Leroy Sabo. Well, well. Nice to see you're comforting the grieving widow, Mr. Sabo. All right, wise guy. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? You can confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car. It wasn't good. What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends. Good friends. You expect me to believe that? Look, I was filing for divorce. Mental cruelty. Lester could be a mean son of a bitch. And Lester knew about that? No. I hadn't told him. Well, hasn't this worked out well for the two of you? I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. You were arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk? We were always arguing. So what? Don't lie to me. Something was different this time. <laughs> You're clutching at straws. You married? The arguments are never any different. How did the car come to hit Lester? He walked straight into the path of an oncoming car. You expect me to believe that, Morna. It's all very convenient. Gambling for Lester was like the needle for a hophead. He was yelling at me. He was yelling at the whole world. I kind of felt sorry for the driver. Poor guy had no chance. We're leaving, Lorna. But this doesn't add up. We'll be keeping an eye on you. Come on, Phelps. Let's make ourselves scarce. I'm out of here, Lorna. I got a business to run. You think Mal is done with the autopsy? Better call it in and check, Phelps. Between the driver and the widow, I say we start dealing with the facts. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? Are there any messages for me? Just one, Detective, from the coroner. Message reads, Phelps, see me at Central Morgue immediately. Results of the Patterson autopsy. Thanks for your help. You're behind the wheel. All right. Where to? right there. 
William Shelton? Yes. It doesn't look good, Shelton. You packing your bags and making a run for it? You know why we're here. Yes. The accident. We've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene, not to mention the physical damage. This is open and shut, Shelton. That coward thinks he can run from everything. Run, Kate. right there William Shelton yes it doesn't look good Shelton you packing your bags and making a run for it you know why we're here yes the accident we've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene not to mention the physical damage this is open and shut Shelton that coward thinks he can run from everything Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. No wonder he killed someone driving like this. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Don't let that asshole get away. So much for our hit and run case. right there William Shelton yes it doesn't look good Shelton you packing your bags and making a run for it you know why we're here yes the accident we've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene not to mention the physical damage this is open and shut Shelton that coward thinks he can run from everything
Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. No wonder he killed someone driving like this. You nearly knocked me down. Don't let that asshole get away. hit and run case. How does a vehicular manslaughter rap sound, Shelton? I hit him. I admit it. I just panicked, but it wasn't my fault. What do you mean? The guy jumped right out in front of me. He came out of nowhere. There's nothing I could do about it. Why didn't you stop? I've had accidents before. That's it. We're done here. The DA is going to love you. They weren't all my fault. I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. There were people around. A woman and a man were standing right next to him. I thought they could get him to a hospital. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. The guy is dead, Shelton. You can't be serious. William Shelton, you're coming downtown. We need to talk about a manslaughter charge. Can you drive to this one? Fine. Where are we headed? You know the way. You can drive. You're behind the wheel. So where do you want to go? I'm sorry, sir. Police officer. You can't I need your do car. this. Can you drive to this one? We can put the driver in front of a judge in less than a week. You'd be making a big mistake. Run that by me again? The victim was dead before the car hit him. Two puncture wounds to the right side of the thorax. Second puncture reached his heart. You're kidding me. He was stabbed to death? Long, sharp knife. Length of a bayonet. So the hit and run was a cover-up. I'd say he was stabbed twice at very close quarters. Both wounds thrusting upwards and then pushed in front of the car. <laughs> Easy, Tiger. Clever, really. I almost missed it. But the trajectory of the wounds was all wrong if he was impaled by the hood ornament. Find the knife, detectives. Yes, sir. It all comes back to the crime scene. We need to hit Ray's one more time and trial for evidence.
You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Uh, where are we going? You're behind the wheel. Lester could be a heel, We just wanted but to check the crime scene over one that's more time. That's a lousy way for anyone to go out. If that's all right. Can you be quick about it? Cops are bad for business. Really? We'll tiptoe, Sabo. You won't even notice us. All right. Step by step, check every inch of ground. So this is why everybody comes to raise. You know, I don't really feel like talking to you right now. Come on, Bukowski, move it. Belts, I'm coming. <clears throat> you coming, Stefan? Do your job, I'll do mine. Damn, Harry.
Don't think this is anything. Nothing significant. Incidental. I'm sure Carruthers will confirm this as the murder weapon. Let's talk to Leroy. See him explain his way out of this. Leroy Sabo, you're under arrest for the murder of Lester Patterson. Not gonna happen, fellas. Go! I'll bring the car around and head him off. It's too late, Sabo. Sabo, stop or I will shoot. Leroy Sabo.
You're under arrest for the murder of Larry. Mr. Patterson. Not gonna happen, fellas. Go! I'll bring the car around and head him off. It's too late, Sabo. He's making for the roof, Cole! The fire escape, quick! You look spooked, Phelps. I thought you'd been under fire before. It never gets any easier, Bukowski. Have patrol pick up Mrs. Patterson. So, I give you a hit and run, you bring me back fraud, conspiracy, and first degree murder. This is how a good detective operates, Phelps. You take nothing at face value. You keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. You got some sharp elbows on you, detective. I like that. Keep up the good work.
Phelps, Mikowski. B Cop says he located a green Kaiser Fraser from the hot sheet. Address is 6 West 2nd Street. Get over there and see what you can find out. Go on. Sorry to inconvenience you. We're on it, Captain. I swear, the more bent cars we bring in, the longer the hot sheet gets. It pays the rent, though. It keeps Mrs. Phelps in the manner to which she's accustomed. I'm not sure she'd agree with you. Passionate romantic type like you, Cole? I don't believe you. You know the way. You can drive. We're calling her the Dahlia now. I wonder what Veronica Lake makes of that one. That's the car, Cole. Just pulling out of the drive. Get it. Remember, we need him healthy enough to answer questions. 1247, Detective Phelps requesting immediate backup in pursuit of a stolen green Kaiser Fraser from 6 West 2nd Street. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. All right, all right. Maybe I was a couple miles over the speed limit. Get Out of the car now. 
Why did you run from us? I saw a big car in my rearview mirror with two tough guys bearing down on me. What would you do? What's your name? Cliff Harrison. You're under arrest. For what? What are you talking about? Nice try. I'm talking about the car being stolen. You're out of your mind. I bought the car, and I've got the paperwork to prove it. Looks like we'll have some questions for the people at Coombs Automotive. You purchased this car from Coombs Automotive Company? Yeah, that's right. The car is on our list of stolen. We have you cold. It's time to come clean. You're crazy. I paid good money for this car. You have a criminal record, Mr. Harrison? No, nothing like that. You better give us something, Cliff, or we're gonna make this hard on you. I didn't steal the car. I ran because... because I've got some wacky backy in the glove compartment. How much, Cliff? One reefer. We'll let it slide. You're in enough trouble. Who did you deal with at Coombs Automotive? 
the owner, Richard Coombs. He drew up a special deal for you, didn't he, Harrison? Give it up. Where did the car come from? I already told you. This is outrageous. I'll be making an official complaint. You could make this easy on yourself, Harrison. How? I haven't done anything wrong, and you know it. Sure. Don't stop now, pal. Keeping shtum just makes us like you more for this. Vegas possessions is evidence. And have him arraigned for Grand Theft Auto. Right, detective. Do you know who my father is? We need to get to Coombs Auto and check out Harrison's story. 